Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a liquid vase like the one in the track Stepped Outside by Low Star. So this is the original track. See a preacher in new direction. And this is my recreation. See a preacher in new direction. But before you get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. If you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so here I have an initialized patch. Let's just add a sine wave. And let me show you the piano roll really quick. So these are the notes that we're going to be playing. We're playing F, C1, G sharp, and A sharp. I'm pretty sure that we are on F minor, so the progression will be 1, 6, 3, and 4. Now make sure there's a bit of overlapping between notes, for example right here. So we can activate the glide on those notes. So let's go back into Serum. And so here in Serum we're going to turn on the mono, legato, and bring the parameter time to around 120 milliseconds. So that vroom effect happens. And now we need to add harmonics into this bass. And there are two main ways in which we can do this. The first one being the wavetable editor. We can click on this button to translate our harmonics, bring the face of the first harmonic down, and then add our own harmonics like this. Now each of these bins represents a whole number that is going to multiply the initial frequency. So for example, if this frequency is 40 hertz, then bin number 2 is going to multiply those 40 hertz by 2, so we're going to have 80 hertz. 3 is going to multiply it by 3, obviously, and we're going to get 120 hertz, so on and so on. Now, every gray bar is an octave, and every other bar is a harmonic. So, for example, by adding number 3, we're adding a fifth into the sound. By adding number 4, we're adding, we're adding an octave. And by adding number six, we're adding the octave of that fifth. So for example, if we wanted to replicate this using oscillators, we will need to get a sine wave like this, get a fundamental like this up. That'll be this harmonic right here. And then we need to add this one, which will be a fifth. So let's just add a sine wave and let's tune it seven semitones up one octave up and then let's do the same with the next oscillator make sure we have the same sine wave so there's no phase cancellation here let's bring the random down bring the phase back there you go and now let's tune this one on the next octave of that seven semitones range and now if we want to play with the levels like this we need to change the level manually of each oscillator. There you go. And now if we want to introduce movement, we can do it on each harmonic manually like this, which is awesome. Now, if you want to get the same movement of the track, you make sure you set it on triplets and dotted notes and make sure you turn off this option right here. So you can transition between speeds in a more smooth way. Now let's go into the effects and let's just add a chorus. And now with this chorus, we're gonna set it on high pass mode. Bring the mix a little bit lower. And now we have a cool movement into this bass. So I show you two approaches, which will be the harmonics editor approach and also stacking different oscillators with cool harmonies. Of course, you can change this one. For example, let's put it on 10 semitones, maybe. That's two dissonant, maybe nine. Nope. Maybe 12, which will be three octaves. That's cool. Let's put it on four. That's very cool, too. Three will be the minor version of that which is too dissonant 
So as you can see, there's a lot of room to experiment. Now let's just automate this right now, right here. So this is the way I did it. On the first two bars, we have a rate of one dotted A note. Then on the next bar, we have one eighth note. And then on the last bar, we have eight notes in triplets. Now the post processing for this one is really simple. I just added an EQ and boosted the sub and added a saturator with a soft clip. Now let me show you a final tip, which will be to have another LFO mapped on different harmonics. For example, on this one, we can have the same automation as this one. Let's just replicate the same LFO. Let's replicate the automation. I'll copy this and automate the rate here. There you go. And so now we have the same movement on both harmonics. But a cool thing is that we can now assign different movements to each harmonic. For example, we can make this one slower. Or faster. And maybe on this one, we'll make it slower. And maybe here, we're gonna make it super fast. Or maybe more slow. Or maybe just sync both. And the only difference will be these two bars. As you can see, you have a lot of control when you know how to manipulate the harmonics individually. So now if we listen to this with the original version, high pass. Like this. That's our final result. Now let's just delete this automation. There you go, that's our base. So that's gonna be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. If you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.